Two guys on the road. Well, yeah, I think I think there was there was some mention of cheesecake as well, but I never saw that. Oh well, you should have been here an hour ago. What do you mean? No, no, you might. I wasn't. I'm not an hour late. You're an hour early. Yes, for the oh, cheesecake. What? Well, <laughs> you? Oh. Yes. Oh. You know what? Yum 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 yum. Hello and welcome to the My Pet Monster Show. I am MP Monster and. And this is the new show for the channel. And since Jenny May here made such a big fuss about being on her own channel, I've got her on as our first guest. So, hello, Jenny. Why don't you just get lost? No. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. I'm well, going to sit here now and look at the camera. Are you? You're going to stare at the camera so that your eyes follow people around the room? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey there, it's really good to have you along here. We've reached 300 shows on this channel and, uh, well, it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a ride, but we had some good fun, haven't we? I can't believe how quickly the time has gone by. So I thought I'd use the opportunity of this 300th show to uh, go back through some of my videos and uh, show you some of my personal favourites but also show you where we came from, uh, going right back to our first dabbling with uh, video recording. Hello. Hello. I'm Jenny. Jennykins. And I'm Zoe. But you can call me Jenny. <laughs> and we're just recording this as a brief test to see basically whether we can chat for any length of time on any interesting subjects. So far, not. But really, the main focus of this channel has been the Model Railway. And uh, going uh, back quite a few years now, we started out showing uh, Bolton Trinity Road coming together in the shed. This is a signal uh, in true Blue Peter style. Here's one I made earlier. Uh, it's ready to, uh, to plant, uh, built up from a, a ratio kit. Uh, this has been made so that we can actually make it work. Uh, that's what this, this big black cylinder at the bottom is. That holds the spring mechanisms. When we mount it in the baseboard, we drill a hole, fit this in so that this, these two arms at the bottom go underneath the baseboard. And we can see when I manually move these, the arms move up. And then if I let go, they return to the danger position. And uh, it's, it's amazing really to look at this. If I'd have known then what I know now about how much work was going to go into the layout, I think it might have deterred me a little bit more, but I was full of, uh, full of uh, ignorant optimism. So uh, we see in some of these videos just how bare it all looked. Uh, but when you see what I've managed to create so far, I'm uh, not running it at the moment because the noise uh, would probably drown me out. Uh, some quite complicated track work. I've got all the signals that I built just before we moved from the other house uh, all out just to position stuff. But it came together good, didn't it? We also documented the break-in and uh, unfortunately we were hit by thieves who broke in and did a lot of damage but uh, we didn't let that stop us either. Scumbags came back and when they found that uh, I'm not as thick as they are and uh, had basically taken in everything of value. <clears throat> As you can see, I'd cleared the shelves already. Um, they basically decided that they'd try and break everything they possibly could, so the signal smashed up, the Walther's gantry kit smashed up, buildings ripped off, other buildings, chimneys broken. I mean, they've gone right into the corner. I mean, that is just vindictive. They've smashed, ripped up stuff there. 
this bridge has been ripped out and then it's been thrown on the floor and stomped on. And I was really, really humbled by the outpouring of support that I got from you guys when it happened. And uh, it was your support that really got me through because not only did you uh, build me back up again, but also some of you sent me uh, some of your spare kits. Also, uh, got sent some uh, wagons too to replace some of those that uh, were stolen. And it was really, really deeply appreciated. And uh, I really did get quite emotional. Uh, about how much love there was out there. So thank you very much for that. But we also covered the building and uh, uh, operating of my other layout, display layout, that I built uh, called Grove Street Yard, featured in uh, Model Rail magazine. And uh, also, I can't even begin to, I'm really sorry. And uh, I know that the, uh, the editor of that magazine does watch these and he's probably shouting the name at the, at the screen, but uh, Swedish Hobby Magazine, big, big magazine, have been very supportive of uh, both Bolton Trinity Road and uh, Grove Street Yard, uh, but featured in there. And we did a, a seven-part series where we talked about the methods of construction of this layout, and it was really good, and uh, got quite a good following. What you can immediately see is, um, what I always say to people who ask about the track plan, the most important thing, and this is the passing loop. If you don't want to have to take trains off stage and use um, either a passing loop off stage or indeed a, a sector plate or a traverser, you're going to need a means for your locomotive to run around some of the wagons and this adds greatly to the operating potential. But then of course also we've been doing the box opening and reviews and going back to where it all began, the Hornby Northumbrian train pack, uh, we opened that on camera and it proved to be something really quite popular. I've got hold of uh, a nice little set for myself today um, and that's uh, this. It's the Hornby Northumbrian uh, coach pack. It comes with a locomotive. Uh, bought it today down in Bolton. So we've done an awful lot more of these and I know a lot of people on YouTube have uh, since uh, started doing these as well and there's a lot of variety out there but I'm just really really happy that you've supported me all the way through this. But also I've featured on Zoe's channel as well. Been a lot of uh, vlogs over the last year or so but going back we also filmed uh, at the radio station and uh, did a few videos there and it's scary to see how young I looked in some of these videos uh, going all the way back there. Is it, is it recording? Uh, well, it looks like it's recording. I've got some numbers on the screen. Oh, it's very professional, isn't it? People listening to this are going to be thinking, what on earth are they talking about? But people on YouTube, oh yes, they'll know what we're going on about. Well, let's hope so anyway. Gosh! I, I, I'm amazed really that they put, they allowed us on the radio, but they did and we were really successful and I was really sorry when uh, that all finally came to an end. But then also uh, we went out and about in a truck, took it for a spin. So Jenny, do truckers have any hand signals that normal drivers don't know about? Um, no, just that usual missing page of highway code with uh, you know, the one where you're trying to tickle a cat's chin with your sort of semi-clenched fist. Oh, of course. Yes. Two girls, one truck. That was great, great fun. And I'm also honoured that Zoe let me feature in some of her films as well. We had the locket and to my beloved. It's not like anybody could possibly be getting cold feet about the image that uh, you've conjured up about them in your mind. So what are you saying? I'm saying don't make any rash decisions. Just let him stew for a few days. If he gets back in touch, then you'll know I'm right. It's a whole bunch of... Oh, also, don't forget how to make a video video. So it's a bit meta there. This case was starting to feel bigger than me. Almost too big. I decided I needed to take a walk. Hey, you. You're the one that's asking about film. You're too late, Huggles. I've just about wrapped this one up. Oh, yeah? How are you going to make it all fit together, then? But it was all really good fun. So uh, YouTube has opened up a whole lot of possibilities. And uh, the audience for my videos has grown and grown far more than I could have ever thought possible. And I am just so, so humbled to have you all along here. And I just hope that this audience keeps on growing. So uh, cheers to you all. 
and here's to the next 300 videos. Long may this continue. And uh, well, he keeps tagging along for the ride. I think I think he thinks I'm going to give him cheesecake. But also looking back on some of the methods that we used to record these, I think the very first uh, uh, videos we actually recorded with a webcam on a MacBook and. Uh, when we were out and about, started out with uh, well, what Zoe affectionately called the Pinkberry. I mean, gosh, I can't believe that something as archaic as this recorded the first few videos. But then we moved on, we went up in the world, and uh, Zoe uh, managed to get herself on her phone contract one of these newfangled iPhone 4s. And we did so much with this. And what it goes to show is that Really, you don't have to have a multi-thousand pound uh, setup with spiffing cameras and lights to get your videos on YouTube. You can do that with whatever you've got to hand. And we did, and you supported us, and I'm really happy for that. So uh, until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying enjoy the videos that we've done, enjoy the videos that are to come, and uh, until next time, this is me saying, don't forget to like this video, share it too, subscribe to the channel if indeed you're not already subscribed, and you take very good care of yourself, and uh, bye for now.